My name is Hong Ia. Currently, I'm an assistant professor here in mechanical and nuclear engineering here at Virginia Commonwealth University. We have been working on developing a novel electronic system. We call it NanoTest 2 because it's based on nanomaterials. Nano means 1,000 times smaller than single human hair. It's thin, flexible, stretchable, and we can wear it on the skin without any tapes or adhesives, like a temporary tattoo. We have attempted a few different applications. First one is to monitor human health by measuring electrocardiograms, temperature, hydration. And second thing is to have direct interface between humans and machines. Once we get this signal out of the skin, then we can use for multiple applications. It can be used to control prosthetics, robots, or quadcopter. There will be uh, four motions that we will use to control quadcopter. Rotation. At this gesture, we will make the quadcopter lift off and land. Going left and right, we will make the quadcopter rotate, squeeze, make the quadcopter fly. And once he does this gesture, it will make the quadcopter go higher. We develop electronics, and this electronics we call that brain signal. So the main idea is to get signals from the brain to make connection with computer. Just by watching a flickering windows on the screen, we can spell a character. Originally, we designed this system to help people who have special needs. I'm envisioning that this type of electronic system can be more powerful and a lot smaller. So it's pretty much invisible, such that it can be even implanted inside the body or under the skin. Biomechanical engineering is a hot job because using this mechanical and biology, science, and engineering ideas, we can create something new product that can eventually help people by monitoring their health and also saving their lives. I love making new things. World-changing invention, like computers, telephones, and automobiles, were actually created by engineers based on scientific knowledge. Engineers actually can make products to change the world.